We call this game our yes-no game. It's lots of fun, as you'll see. So first of all, I have these little squares, rectangles, cut into, um, yeah, foam pieces cut into rectangles. And what you'll have to do is put all the yes ones here. We're learning to read our yes and no's. This is a reading game, and it's not just learning to read yes and no. By the end of this game, your child will surely know yes and no. But, you'll see. Okay, and I pick lots of different colors for fun and variety. And then I have here other little cards with very simple phonetic sentences. So this is for a good uh, practice for phonics. Most of these words she knows and some she's learning and still needs to sound out. So what she has to do, she has to read the words, the sentence, and then on top of it she'll put yes or no, depending on the sentence. The cup can run. <laughs> and she'll have a good laugh and then she'll put a no, that's not true. And then the dog can dig. Yes, so she'll put a yes on top. And on she goes and does the whole little stack of cards. So I find this lots of fun. Dad can fix. You put a yes. I hug a bug. No. And your child really enjoys it. I hope you like this idea. It's something very simple to make because you don't need to draw anything. All you need is some... A permanent marker, then I have a th I used a thinner marker for these cards. Some cardboard pieces. You can also use cardboard pieces for these ones, or you can use foam or something else that you have at home.